<coughs> hey, Don here. Well, I got uh, my uh, order from Holly to repair my carburetor. My uh, fuel transfer rail was leaking like a sieve. If you've seen the other videos, you'll see that. Um, I uh, go ahead and open it up. I've already got the ends cut, so now all i got to do is cut down the front. Ow! Let's try to do it. what's safest, not what set straight in the video. Yeah, I cut right through the box, didn't I? Okay. Wow, that stuff was right up on top, too. So maybe set your knife not quite so deep next time. Usually it won't cut through good if you don't have it deep. So anyway, there's the... Uh, can't see them in there, can you? There they are. The... Um, oh, and guess what? I was not clear. I could not tell for sure. That's the seals. That's two seals. I ordered them separately or on top of. It looks like... There it is. My new... Uh, fuel transfer rail and it comes with seals it was really confusing on the website the way they had it worded and the way the description was it first I thought okay yeah, it comes with seals and I thought no it doesn't and uh, I'd already had to uh, I had a hard time finding the right one for my carburetor I bought it brand new in 1992 and I don't have that information of what it is right in front of me so I can't remember I don't remember much these days, <coughs> but uh, dropped it. But it spent me pretty much a, a day of searching to make sure, and I never did 100% figure out which one was the right replacement. This is the newer version, my uh, fuel transfer rail. This is a 26-115. My transfer rail. I wrote, I wrote Holly and asked him. And I gave him my uh, the number on the horn. Uh, what do they call it? Lot? No, something number. List number. Uh, I had, I have a kit that I put in it. Let me make sure there's, there shouldn't be anything else in here. Just a ticket and some, and some blue paper. So, um, oh, you could knock the phone. Could knock the phone off the deal. I had it sitting on my, had it sitting on my. Uh, keyboard tray to make it still <laughs> knocked it off okay let me grab my kit it's right here <clears throat> this is how I figured it out I didn't want to well I, I didn't want to uh, uh, go down to the auto supply or I don't really like making phone calls so sometimes I spend more time looking things up but I had went years, several years ago now. I don't even remember three to three to five years ago. I rebuilt the carburetor, and this is the kit I had got at the local store, and they were able to look it up. And uh, this is a 37-720 kit, and uh, it was called the Holly Trick Kit back then. But uh, I still have. I, can't, I always keep stuff like this because there's usually some some usable stuff that, you know left over these kits have stuff for more than well that's gonna make the box upside down and dump out okay so they usually have well, that's my old a lot of that's my old stuff that's a measuring gauge that came with it old gaskets I save them in case I have an emergency but there's all kinds of brand new parts well actually that's not the brand new parts that's the ones I took out but uh, I use my old bottles for storing things. So there's a the the carburetor base gasket, the old one. Oh, here's some new parts. All kinds of little goodies that uh, you're going to lose them that might save you from having to spend the money on a whole new kit or a lot of trouble just finding. You know, a lot of this stuff you'll never find by itself. Uh, and I, because this is the first place I went, I thought, you know, maybe I had some of those seals. And uh, when I saw that my seal was leaking, that's the old gasket. You know, it's kind of broke, but you could make it work if you had to. 
and then there's another gasket. They gave you different different ones for different models of carburetors. That right there is for the a fuel bowl gasket, and uh, you know I may end up having to tear mine up and getting it off. I didn't use this one probably because it didn't look like the right one, but you know you could always add holes and stuff like that if you had to. And then there's some other new gaskets that I didn't use. But, uh, so I save that stuff because you never know when you might really need it. It doesn't matter how old those gaskets get, they'll still work. As long as you don't let them get too hot or too wet or anything like that. They've been in the garage all these years. And you know, it gets hot out there, but it's not going to hurt those things. They're made to stand up to engine heat. Some things will ruin, of course, but uh, out in the garage. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to leave it all in the bags because uh, I don't want anything getting lost. But that's good. I mean, that, well, now I know if my seals wear out, I've got some more, and I spent. Holly turned it. I went ahead and ordered it straight from Holly because, oh, this was nine something, nine oh one or something. This was six, about six seventy five for these seals. Uh, I'll just keep those for future use. Maybe I'll put them in my carburetor kit box, or no, I'll put them in the truck in the toolbox. I'm leave them right there in that. <coughs> and uh, but I went ahead and ordered from Holly because um, even though they charge. Too, way too much shipping for something that small and light like five six dollars but uh, they have it figured out because their pricing is uh, so that everybody else is just a little higher like Jegs and Summit Racing and uh, they were just a little dollar or so, 50 cents to a dollar higher and they have their shipping things too you know I, I never have ordered from either one of them because uh, because of their shipping, I mean, you can usually find stuff on Amazon, and I and, and get free shipping, and it's usually you know within a dollar of the same uh, same price base price, you know, and then then within these other companies that charge shipping, then uh, charge shipping for something that costs them you know fifty cents to a dollar to ship, and they charge you five six dollars shipping. That's ridiculous. So. Uh, they need to get with the shipping bandwagon all Amazon and Walmart they they, they realize they're going to sell a whole lot more if uh, you know you, sp you spend or whatever they the price point they have to set it at you know $35 at Amazon 50 at 49 or 50 at uh, Walmart get free shipping on pretty much most everything so um, with this uh, something small like this uh, they had this this fuel rail and everything, uh, but it was a whole lot more, so it didn't work out. I, you know, things like this for cars is a lot different than your average other everyday stuff. They have to get it from Holly, so it was like 13 bucks, you know, with free shipping. So that doesn't make didn't help me out any. I'd rather just get it straight from Holly. And uh, and of course I needed this too, so I found one place that had some uh, uh, like home you know smaller website that had the fuel rail for for a uh, decent price can't remember it would have saved me two or three dollars but they didn't have these and i couldn't figure out I, I thought i had figured out that i needed to order these that they didn't come with the fuel rail but they do uh so i was set on getting those two together <coughs> and uh i didn't <coughs> want to wait another day it took them a day Actually, I think I asked them over the weekend or something, so it took them like two days to answer me, a day and a half or something. They say it could take 48 hours. So anyway, they, uh, I didn't want to wait for another email answer, and I didn't want to call. I uh, hate calling and getting through all those stupid machines you got to talk to, the computers you got to talk to to get to somebody, and then you end up waiting on hold 20, 30 minutes. I just hardly won't do it. So. Uh, and sometimes it bites me because I'll spend forever researching. But all that research usually makes you sure that you got the best price you can get and everything. So, um, so there it is. Now, see what the temperature is going to be the next few days. I imagine I'll have to. I live in Texas, and it's uh, 
you know, it's already 100. A normal day is 95, you know, so um, I think I heard you walk by the TV the other day and heard them say something about a record high or something over 100, so uh, if I if I you know, have to get out of early in the morning or I won't be able to handle it because I stay in on the computer all the time these days, so uh, anyway, that's my new... That's my what I got to do to get that carburetor to quit leaking. Put that, put that on there. It shouldn't be too bad. The only problem I may have is that gasket, uh, and if that one that I have.